tropical storm Cristobal that is just right offshore as we speak, just nearing Grand Isle, and it's kind of wobbling to the east, and it has slowed down. North, moving to the north at five miles per hour, still has max sustained winds of 50 miles per hour as of the latest advisory, which came out at 1 p.m. So going forward, we're going to have to watch this very, very carefully, but it is 30 miles south, southeast of Grand Mile before it was almost moving due north toward Grand Isle. So it looks like it's moving a little to the east. So I do want to break this down for you, the, the cone of uncertainty, if you will. So it's still projected to move mainly to the east of Baton Rouge. And in fact, it looks as though if it does hold this particular track and it tracks toward the I-55 corridor, the majority of the impacts are still set to be to the east of the center. So that means east of I-55 and well to the east of I-55. I'm talking Mississippi, Alabama, Northwest Florida. You have been seeing the greatest impacts more so than we have here in the Baton Rouge Metro. Now, if it moves more to the west, which it doesn't look like it's doing very uh, very much whatsoever, then we would see a little bit more in the way of impacts. But all in all, the impacts have not changed. Our projected impacts have not changed. So looking at the Doppler radar this afternoon, we've had some bands move through, but you could see they're very sporadic. The heaviest of the rain is situated currently over the lake, over the twin span right now, nearing Slidell and more to our east. And you can just kind of see the counterclockwise circulation of these uh, rain bands as as Cristobal just uh, sits just right offshore. So we'll still be dealing with some heavy rainfall through the evening. We'll just have to watch the progression of that path. Again, as I mentioned, it does look like it's moving a little to the east and it has slowed its forward progression down. So some of the heaviest rain situated along I-59 in south uh, southern Mississippi in the Gulf Coast of Mississippi, more so closer to the north shore where the heavy of rain is anticipated to be in the next coming 12, 24, and even 36 hours. The current wind speeds in our area mainly out of the north between 10 and 20 miles per hour at most, not seeing any significant wind speeds as of right now. Wind gust, this is uh, the latest, showing anywhere between 20 and 30 miles per hour, so no, uh, no tropical storm force wind gusts have been reported, at least not in our area area a little closer offshore where Cristobal is and then again well to the east. In fact, the wind field is still over roughly 200 miles, 205 miles from the center. So that just shows how large this wind field is. And if anything, that's where we'll see the greatest tropical storm force winds again to the east of our area. But we could still see anywhere between 25, 35 miles per hour sustained with higher wind gusts, maybe a little higher. We'll just have to watch the progression of Cristobal. As for our rainfall, two to four inches on average. That's saying uh, mo most of the area will see anywhere between two and four. Could see some spots exceeding two, uh, six to eight inches, and especially for folks to our east, the North Shore, and then east of I-55, where the heaviest of rainfall is expected to fall. As for the tornadic threat, that is still there. We can see some of these weak sh um, and short-lived tornadoes that could form with little to no warning. So be sure you have uh, multiple ways to receive warnings and have that safe place ready to go if a warning is issued. And in fact, be sure you download the free BR Proud app. You'll be alerted if any uh, tornado warning has been issued for your area. Also, make sure the, the wheel alert on your phone is toggled on. So if you go on your settings on your phone and just toggle on wireless emergency alert, make sure that's on. So if you are under a tornado warning, you will get that alert on your phone. And especially have ones that will wake you up because this could potentially be an overnight threat for our area and then across southeast Louisiana as well. Coastal flooding's already occurring, especially uh, for our lakes. We've had numerous videos that we've seen on social media, Lake Pontchartrain, Lake uh, Maurepas, seeing uh, some coastal flooding there, and then storm surge already occurring. We've seen it from, uh, from Grand Isle as well, already reached high tide, so at least things will start to get a little better. 
As for our current alerts in effect, we still have that tropical storm warning in effect. You see that blue color that includes all of southeast Louisiana stretching all the way to the Florida Panhandle as well. And the tropical storm wind probabilities, this is the chance and most likely timing this afternoon and this evening. And you can see the, the probability is quite high, although we haven't seen that just yet, but just know that it can certainly still be the case, especially as it moves closer to our area, which is expected to happen sometime this evening. Uh, the current storm surge watches and warnings, the light pink, that is the watch. Storm surge warning, that is that magenta color. And then some inundation of one to three feet, that would be more so for our tidal lakes. And that's where we have coastal flood advisories in effect with heavy rain and of course that persistent southeast and south wind that could lead to coastal flooding. That flood watch will continue through Tuesday morning as again we could see anywhere two to four or more of rainfall that um, can fall between now and Tuesday morning. The weather per, uh, Weather Prediction Center has our area under slight and moderate risk for some flooding. That's our flood risk but if you do see this uh, magenta color or purple color that is a high and that's along I-55 and points to the east. That's where the heaviest of rain has been falling and will continue to fall. So again, well to the east of the center is where the heaviest impacts, the strongest impacts, if you will, are likely to be felt. Even into Monday, we'll have the potential for some isolated flash flooding as we get some of those uh, souther, southerly bands that begin to pull from the south as it lifts to the northwest. Uh, and then today and tonight, we have that risk, as I mentioned, for some spin up tornadoes. So be sure again to stay weather aware, have multiple ways to receive alerts, and we'll continuously have some updates for you on air, online, Facebook. We have the whole team in house Chief Meteorologist Jesse Gunkel's here, Meteorologist Jasmine Lomax, and we'll continue to have the latest. And then we'll have a newscast on WVLA at 5 o'clock. So you'll have all the latest there. And again, go ahead and download the be our proud app and you can always find the latest on everything news weather sports whatever uh, you'd like to see and any updates that we have into the newsroom any flooding or anything like that good tool to have so we'll wrap this up and we'll have another update for you on air around 4 a.m. Uh, 4 p.m. when the National Hurricane Center has the latest on Cristobal be sure to stay safe out there and have a great day